This report is brought to you by IFA, the International Fund for Animal Welfare. Whether it's caused by us humans or by nature, climate change is real. Our planet is getting hotter. NASA reports that since 1880, when scientists first began keeping track of the average temperatures around the world, last year, 2023, was the warmest ever recorded. According to the UN, the warming of our planet is having an effect on all of us. Storms have become more destructive and more frequent. Droughts are more widespread and last longer. At the same time, the melting ice caps are causing the ocean levels to rise, threatening those living along the coastlines. Entire island nations are in danger of disappearing. Climate change is causing food shortages, killing off both marine and wildlife. It's also increasing health risks. Yes, it is a massive problem. In fact, it's no doubt the biggest problem facing our generation. Ramping up recycling, reducing dependence on fossil fuels, increasing renewable sources of power like solar and wind. These are all steps in the right direction. But you'll probably be surprised to learn that when it comes to battling climate change, the unsung heroes are found in the animal and plant kingdoms. To explain that, we're joined by Azadine Downs. He's the CEO of the International Fund for Animal Welfare, IFA for short. First, tell us more about IFA. IFA is one of the largest and most respected animal welfare and conservation organizations in the world today. We're a global nonprofit helping animals and people thrive together in more than 40 countries around the world. And we help rescue, rehabilitate, and release animals and restore as well as protect their natural habitats. Sounds great. Please explain the special link between animals and plants and combating climate change. The reason we have this beautiful planet is because we have such rich biodiversity. And so all the plants and animals are critical to our own health. Think of it this way. Just like us humans, the planet has an immune system. When that immune system is not working, carbon builds up in the atmosphere and we see dangerous climate change. Wildlife keeps the soil rich and maintains the health of everything from wild grasses and forests to oceans and fresh air. Interesting. You said that if we want to help save the planet, we should start by saving an elephant. Why? It's quite amazing. Elephants are a keystone species. When they thrive, huge benefits cascade through the ecosystems. Elephants transport plant seeds across landscapes, creating more biodiversity. They also help fertilize plants with key nutrients, making them healthier and stronger. They clear brush through their sheer size and weight and use their tusks to dig for water. This creates watering holes and clears the paths for smaller species to migrate as well. The healthier the elephant makes the environment, the more effective that environment will be storing carbon, in essence, fighting climate change. And this is just one example. Whales perform a similar function but obviously in the marine environment. If these species are healthy, they will keep the environment healthy. This has global ramifications. Humans are not separate and apart from nature. We are part of nature, and we need all the parts to function if we are to fight climate change. Good point. Your organization is behind an innovative idea called Room to Roam. What is that exactly? Room to Roam is a large-scale initiative from IFA that spans Eastern and Southern Africa. It's an ambitious vision as well as an urgent one. Room to Roam is designed to create wildlife corridors that connect 12 critical elephant habitats. It's urgent because if we don't act now, the land will be lost to development. By corridors, you mean creating special pathways across Africa that elephants can safely travel on? Yes, we're engaged landowners to lease their land to create these corridors, these pathways to ensure elephant conservation. We also support the training equipment of rangers who work on the ground to monitor elephants and prevent poaching. To be clear, if elephants are forced to stay in one place, then the environment does not remain healthy. And since elephants move across landscapes where people live, we have to take serious steps to help the people who live with wildlife. Our goal is for animals and people to thrive together on this vast planet that we call home. Environmentalists talk about what's called a tipping point. 
It's the point at which a mistake or problem can't be undone. Have we reached a tipping point with global warming? We have not passed the tipping point, so there is still hope. Nature will bounce back if we let it. During the COVID pandemic, we witnessed how quickly nature begins to heal itself. We saw animal populations begin to rebound. And because fewer people were driving, air pollution was not just reduced, air quality actually improved. In fact, when I was in Kenya, people told me that the air was so clean that they could see the famous Mount Kilimanjaro all the way from Nairobi. That had not happened in 50 years. Wow, that's pretty cool. As head of IFA, what gives you hope amidst all the environmental challenges in the world today? I have great faith in the younger generations who have great respect for the environment. You understand that when the environment suffers, people suffer. I know the news always seems so bad, but don't give up. Hope really does heal. And we here at Teen Kids News certainly hope that you're right. Thanks for telling us about Room to Roam. Thank you for having me. While hope is an essential element in facing a crisis, we also need action, and we need to make meaningful changes before it's too late. For example, start a garden, use reusable water bottles, drive less, walk or bike more. If you're old enough, vote for candidates that support climate initiatives. And if you're not old enough to vote, convince those who are to vote to protect our planet. To learn more about Room to Roam, check out ifaw.org. Or you can find them on Instagram at ifaglobal. For Teen Kids News, I'm Alexandra.